Baking a ham for the holidays is a great way to feed a crowd and with a few simple tips you can make it the best ham they've ever had. So first step first, we're gonna cross hatch the skin of the ham. We're gonna simply take our knife and make incisions in that skin without going too far into the flesh. All the way around in one direction, then turn that ham 90 degrees and we're gonna go in the other direction. This should make nice little diamond patterns on the ham and the reason we do it is to help the skin and the fat in the skin render the fat out and of course it makes a really pretty design. So another way to help keep the ham moist and to give it just that little extra bit of flavor, we're gonna make a glaze to go on top of it. So simple to do. We're gonna start with Madeira wine. Now Madeira is a fortified wine. You could use port or sherry in its place if you want to, or if you don't wanna cook with a wine, just use more juice or apple cider. Some orange juice. We're gonna add some brown sugar, a little maple syrup, some Dijon mustard, and we're gonna put a little bit of orange zest in as well. Just about a tablespoon. Stir this all together and turn the heat on, bring it to a boil, and then as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn the heat off. I'm transferring this now to a baking dish. Any dish that can go into the oven is good to use for this ham. We're gonna pour the glaze over the top. Take an orange, slice it into nice thin slices. We're gonna nail the orange slices onto the ham using the cloves as our little nails. So doing this helps to hold some of the moisture into the ham and also flavors it with a bit of the orange too. You could use apricots, you could use pineapple, but any kind of fruit glaze on top of a ham is delicious. Okay, now it's ready to go into the oven. We've preheated our oven to 350 degrees, so that ham's gonna cook in the oven for about 10 to 13 minutes per pound, but you're gonna wanna baste it about twice during the duration of cooking. So 45 minutes in, maybe give it a little baste with all the juices. So when you think your ham is done, you're gonna take it out of the oven and check the temperature. So take a temperature by inserting that thermometer into the ham, but don't hit the bone. You want the temperature to be as close to 140 degrees without going over. So remove these orange slices. They are a little bit delicious, so save them. Don't throw them out. Make sure all the cloves are removed. Pull out any stragglers. And now we're gonna turn the ham on its flat side. Now the bone runs through the ham just like this over here. We're gonna slice down one side of it and it's just a bit of hit and miss. We're gonna try and feel for the bone and slice along the bone all the way down to that flat side. Now what we've ended up with is a nice piece of ham here that we can start our first slices with. So just cut nice thin slices down the ham now. So transfer those ham slices to a serving platter, take the remainder of the glaze, put it into a little gravy boat, serve it at the table, and just watch everybody's faces light up. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to learn about the tools I use for this recipe, click over here. And if you have any comments or suggestions for more basics, put them in the comments section below.